Hi, FreeWrite family. Welcome to episode eight of How to Use Your Traveler Like a Pro. Last week, we talked about Wi-Fi controls and how to use your device offline. Today, we're going to be looking at Postbox, our cloud service that does everything from managing your device settings to saving your documents. Now, FreeWrite devices communicate directly with Postbox through Wi-Fi, but you can also access your individual Postbox account in a browser by going to postbox.getfreewrite.com. By now, you've probably already created your Postbox account and linked it to your device. If not, don't worry. You will be prompted to enter your email address and create a Postbox account the first time you connect your device to Wi-Fi. If you don't have a device yet, you can also create a Postbox account through Sprinter. Link below. Now, let's jump right in. This is your Postbox timeline. Here, you can see your drafts displayed in order of time of last activity. At the top of your timeline, you can see your writing stats by month. As you can see, this month I've written four drafts, 91 words, spent three days drafting, and I'm currently on a two-day writing streak. The drop-down menu at the top will allow you to view drafts by folder. This is also where you can find your archived drafts and drafts from Sprinter. On the left here, you can view drafts from previous months and years. As you can see, you can easily customize your viewing experience. If you're looking for a particular draft, you can also type keywords directly into the search box here. At the top of each draft, you can see the title and date of last activity of your draft, as well as a series of tags displaying folder information, associated devices for the document, and any other information. You can also see whether a draft is syncing to any third-party cloud services and customize syncing drafts on an individual basis. We'll talk more about cloud syncing next week. To export a draft from your Postbox timeline, click on the icon next to Syncing To. You will have the option to send the individual draft to any of our supported cloud services or download the draft in PDF or text format. Simply select your preferred format and a copy of your draft will be downloaded directly onto your computer. Hovering over a draft, You'll also see the options Archive, Shred, and Edit in Sprinter, as well as the date the document was originally created. You can also edit the title of your draft in Postbox. Changing the title of your draft here will not alter any writing on your device. As we've previously talked about, the Archive and Shred function are both ways of removing a draft from your device and your Postbox timeline. The key difference is that archive drafts will still be available in your archive folder, while shredded drafts are permanently deleted. So please be certain you'd like to permanently delete a draft before selecting the shred option. If you would like to continue writing a draft you started on a device, there is an option to continue writing directly in Sprinter, Astrohouse's distraction-free writing app available directly in the browser at sprinter.getfreewrite.com. Please note that opening any document on Sprinter will pull the document from your devices to avoid any conflict in syncing. Once you make edits in Sprinter, your draft will still be saved on Postbox, but we will not be able to return the draft to your device. So please do not select this option until your draft is complete and ready for export. Now, if you look at the top right corner of your Postbox page, you'll see a small logo. Pro tip, you can actually check your device connection status at a glance by looking at this logo. If the dot is red, your device is not currently syncing to Postbox. If the dot is green, like so, your device is securely connected. Clicking on the logo will bring you to a drop-down menu. We've already looked at Timeline, and we will be discussing cloud syncing features in the next episode. So let's jump to device settings. Here, 
You can adjust the default settings on your device according to your preference. You can choose between three different font sizes and select your time zone. You'll also have the option to enable a password protected lock screen on your device for maximum security and switch the author images screensaver off by toggling simple screensaver. To save your changes, simply hit done. If your device is turned on and connected to Wi-Fi, the changes will be reflected on your device in a few minutes. Here in languages, you have the option to add any of our 30 plus alternative keyboard layouts to FreeWrite and Traveler. You can add as many languages as you want. Simply click on the languages you would like to add and delete selections to remove them from your device like so. Once the changes are reflected on your device, you'll be able to rotate through your keyboard selection by pressing new plus shift on your keyboard. Returning to the main menu, you can view the status of your previous orders by selecting order history, or change your password or email associated with your account under my account. You'll need to refresh the Postbox connection on your device after making any changes to your account, but your work in Postbox and on your device will not be affected. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's episode of how to use Traveler like a pro. We hope you've learned something new about Postbox. Next week, we're going to be talking about cloud platforms and how to best incorporate cloud syncing into your workflow. So don't forget to check back next week. For more information on how writers like you have more than doubled their writing productivity using FreeWrite and Traveler, do not forget to subscribe below. Happy writing. The wait is coming to a close. Travelers will be coming back in stock in a few short weeks. So if you would like to receive your traveler as soon as possible, right now is the time to place your order. Remember, travelers will be increasing in price once they come back in stock. So do not miss out on your chance to purchase Traveler at the current $170 off discounted rate. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next week.